Hi guys, today I want to tell you about how to create fantastic lessons, I mean high energy lessons from the point of view of a teacher. Uh, so I observed myself lately, especially for this uh, past few months, and the way how I write lesson plans and how I provide lessons. And I figured out uh, a few things that I really need in order to create uh, very nice lessons that I myself enjoy and my students enjoy as well. So one important thing um, is that I need freedom for inspiration. I do not uh, like uh, some limits, uh, plans uh, from above that I need to stick to or amount of pages that I need to cover. I just like to see the whole picture, like for example, this one month I have to teach present continuous and 20 new words. So I take this main topic and I teach it in a different ways, using different games and activities. And the same way I do with uh, words, with vocabulary, I use board games to teach them. But I don't go, you know, like for, uh, from the book, from exercise to exercise, uh, page by page. I do not like such uh, limits. So for a teacher, to my uh, point of view, it's important to have this freedom when you can just uh, create, when you can uh, uh, use your imagination uh, for your lessons. Uh, number two, uh, think of the main thing that you have to teach uh, during this lesson. And just keep it in mind, think of it beforehand so that during the week, before your lesson comes, some ideas would come to your mind. Sometimes I forget about it and I start planning my lessons at the same day when I have lessons. And then I feel stressed and uh, ideas don't come easily. And uh, so I have learned that I know that, for example, this week I have uh, this topic. And I just uh, do my daily routine and sometimes uh, some ideas come to my mind and I make uh, quick notes what I want to do. Or if I go shopping and I see some things that, uh, that might be useful for my lessons, I buy them and I use them later. So if you do preparation beforehand, not exactly preparation, but thinking about it beforehand, it really helps. Number three is uh, listen to your students. Sometimes they give very nice ideas. Sometimes their wish is something that really helps you to um, reach the goal. Uh, I had one, uh, one case like this. I came to the lesson with my own lesson plan, with a game. And then the student said, why don't we play it differently? Why don't we do this and that? And I thought, mm, why not? Let's try. And we have tried this and it worked a lot better. His idea came out to be even better than mine. And so after that, I listened to ideas, to the wishes of my students. Sometimes they are good. Sometimes when I see that they just want to avoid some work, I don't follow their, their wish. But sometimes it's nice to hear them, to hear your students. And number four, get ready to enjoy your lessons yourself like i mean uh i don't like lessons that i don't like <laughs> you know i don't like boring lessons uh i don't like work that i don't like so i uh plan something that i would enjoy as well and uh, just i just imagine myself if i uh, were a, a student how would i want it to be and with the things that i have to use so i I'm anticipating for this for my lessons as well as my students. I hope they do. <laughs> anyway, I really like uh, planning lessons the way I like it. So that I think it's good. I when I plan it, I think oh, I think this is a good idea. I think they will like it. At least I like it. So let's try it. And so I imply the uh, this kind of thinking, this kind of planning. Uh, so. Um, uh, number five, I think this is five, uh, is I buy rewards like stickers or small candies or small things like fidgets, gadgets that are really tiny and small, not expensive. And so at the end of the lesson, I always have some winners because we play games for points. We earn points. Sometimes we have, uh, you know, Remis and <laughs> both uh, winners. Both are winners. <laughs> Both players are winners.
so <laughs> so uh, I always have some rewards and to be honest I really love buying those I love choosing those and I anticipate how I how I will give it out to them and I can't wait to see their excited faces when they will start picking the stickers that they like you know and this is very nice uh, you know high energy point of my lesson because I feel that we all are happy at the end of the lesson besides that we have done a lot of work and uh, now uh, number six mm, if you feel like you come to the lesson and you feel like you're not in the mood, if something happened, you had a bad day, or you don't feel like you you're ready to give to to teach lesson with energy that you're just not in a good mood, uh, so why don't you start? Or your students also can be in a bad mood. Sometimes they come uh, tired or hungry or just they wanted to do something else and instead they had to come to the lesson. Uh, so in such cases, when I see that something is wrong, I'm, I'm like, I start my lesson with a game. For example, if it's about vocabulary and we have to uh, study, learn some new words, I start with the easiest part and uh, we play a game and then I see that they are now into the lesson and then I give them some harder work or some grammar or something like that. So if you feel like like they are not ready you know for the tough part of the lesson just give them a game yes so be flexible i, I tell this all to uh, students private teachers uh, even for teachers in the uh, private schools uh, who are able to imply all of these ideas but i think even if you are a Pri uh, public school teacher some of these can also can be useful for you I hope so because I know that uh, teaching in a public school is very hard <laughs> especially because there are a lot of students uh, in the class I personally can't handle it I have maximum four six is like super uh, super a lot for me uh, so I know uh, I know how you feel but anyway I really wish all teachers uh, to have the power and energy to teach their lessons and to enjoy the lessons and to teach uh, your students uh, you know to like learning and studying you know to, to to develop that curiosity for life. Okay, so this is my goal for this uh, <laughs> video today. I hope it was useful for you. Uh, e these points are uh, super useful were super useful for me, and uh, just uh, feel free to use it uh, to try it. And if it works, I'm I'm very happy for you. So see you in my next videos. Hope you like my shorts. I I make them during my lesson, so they are not very good quality. But anyway, I really want to share it because I don't really have time for special setting and extra time of shooting. Anyway, see you later. Have a good day and pa.